You're watching Leak Magazine, and with me, I've got Kasing from H2K. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, first of all, congratulations with your victory. That was a crazy couple of matches uh, in the end there. And it, it actually didn't look too good for you guys in the beginning. I mean, you really got ruffle stomped to put this in a you know, slightly fine way. But somehow you found your form halfway through and, and you just swapped it on them. They never really saw that change coming. Um, in your own words, looking at the first two games, what do you think you kind of learned and changed in order to, to go into the last three? Well, basically, <clears throat> during this playoffs, um, within our first game, actually, we kind of expected them to pull out something like Oh, a secret pick that they haven't shown us or before, and that was Kassadin. And after that, we kind of knew that we couldn't play like LeBlanc or Ari blind because they would just pick Kassadin into it. And that was the first game. And then the second game, we kind of had a change in pick and bans. So we basically, <clears throat> we pretty much picked, picked away, uh, what's it called? Lulu away from them. And then we figured that they, they wanted Lulu a lot or prioritized a lot, but then they realized they, they played Janna a lot too. But then it didn't go so well in game two. So after that, it kind of, we were on 0-2, everyone would expect us to like pretty much tilt from this point. But then we kind of spoke about like the next the next game. We didn't really care much about two about losing, like two losses anyway. And <clears throat> we kind of found out our, our, our form, Oduwame, he likes to engage a lot. He likes to be a carry rather than tank. And after we just played around that, and after we picked up like a win, which was, it was weird at first because we, were, we just got stomped twice. So <laughs> the atmosphere couldn't like, it wouldn't have been where, where it was if we had lost, because if we had lost 0-3, then I'm pretty sure we would all be very disappointed. Yeah. But uh, other than that, it's just like the next few free games. Of course, we didn't, we didn't have any mentality of that it's going to be an easy win, because we knew every game or every single one that we played, or we just we had to try to the best of our ability rather than just hope for like them to f*** up. Sorry, not to say that. That was a lovely bleep you heard, but he said something really nice and pleasant. <laughs> Sorry, um, okay. as I was saying, um, in our head we was like we never lost, we just had one win. Then we would just get two more wins and get a 3-0, and which we did, so thank God for that. But yeah, I mean the whole experience was really dreadful like at the beginning. I, I, I wouldn't want to go through it again. But. What's it, um, I mean, when you, when you joined uh, H2K this time around, um, did you imagine that you would in any way make it this far? Uh, the way you do, because I mean, obviously, you were a bit of a, an untested team. The way you currently are, your composition and everything, um, and, and you had a lot of things going against you. And yet here you are, having played some of the best, you know, well, lol, I've seen in a very long time these last matches. So, did you did you ever imagine you'd make it this far? Um, I actually imagined we would be like bottom five, six. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm I'm a realistic kind of guy. I don't like to put too too uh, how do I call it too high of an ambition. Because, of course, if you're only looking too high, then you're down to four and stuff. But I feel like right now with H2K, I can, <clears throat> I can trust every single one of the team members whenever we want to make a play or a shot call. And everyone likes to talk a lot. And with, that's one of the main reasons I think why we're, we're this far. For someone that's, or for a team that's just been in, in one split, which is this split. And to finish third is really like, we could have even been first or second if we had just won one more game against Fnatic, but we were still inexperienced. And I'm going to ask you to play favourites for half a second here. So if you had to point at any one player on your team, can't choose yourself, um, who would you actually say brought you through these five games? Who was the MVP that you could not have done this without? Mm. It's know. not a fair question, that. I think everyone played super good. But I think Hyanan played to the best I've ever seen he's played in, in my entire time I've played with him. Because I don't know if you saw, but he had like one death throughout the entire series. Oh, sorry, throughout the, 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 the wins. And it just shows that every time we were in, in the lead, he knew how to snowball it, how to avant it, or put, put, his, put himself in a carry position where he could actually win the game. And I felt like Hyanan performed super good, like, I don't know, it exceeded my expectations because, I mean, Ryu played super good too, but... No, 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 we're going we're gonna to hold you to it. You pick Yanan. For the rest of you, try harder. Um, so <laughs> um, one last thing, looking back, because hindsight is always 20-20, um, you know, looking back at your matches, um, is there anything you would point at and say, oh, we really should have done that? I think... I shouldn't be too overconfident when warding and stuff. It's just something that I always notice. Whenever it's a really important game, it's like I try and go for the greedy wards. It's just like 
I try to go for the perfect wards that will benefit us as a team the most. But then I realize that the opponents are also quite smart, so they can just kill me anytime they want. Thank you very much for joining us. For more news on the Spring Finals, stay tuned to linkmagazine.com. Thank you.